Yo, what is up guys? We are back today for a yet another showdown live in Gen 7 OU. I'm using a team that my buddy Drew from the UPA passed me. Please guys, go check him out in the description down below. He wanted to do content for Gen 7 right away when it came out, but unfortunately he lost his voice, so it'd be really appreciated if you go and check out his content. Maybe uh, sub to him like a couple of videos, it'd be really cool. But he did pass us this team. It's a really cool Lycanroc team, uh, and it uh, abuses Lycanroc with Life Orb Sand Rush. Uh, in the sand, it's it's faster than Excadrill uh, could ever hit uh, with this base 112 speed, and it's not even jolly, it's adamant, uh, hitting that 361, which is less than Excadrill, but with the Life Orb and the fact that it gets Swords Dance makes up for it, great coverage with Crunch and Fire Fang, uh, Stone Edge of course being its main stab, fortunately it doesn't have no guard, but we'll have to, <laughs> to live with that. Uh, next up we have Tangrowth, the standard um, Assault Vest set, paired with Hippo, Smooth Rock, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Slack Off, and Toxic, really cool set. Uh, there is no Stone Edge on here because Lycan Rock is your Rock type, so that's very nice. A uh, couple of checks to birds right here, especially with Mega Manectric in the back. Uh, Choice Spec Swallow, gonna be cool to try this out. And Tapu Fini as a nice, uh, a nice check to uh, Faramosa and a couple of other of the uh, the UBs. So very nice right there. Let's uh, hop into a game. Let's see what we can do with this team. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's it's nice to have. Hippowdon paired with a sand abuser that isn't the same type as it, uh, which is really cool. Because before, the only way you could do that was with Stoutland, and now you have Lycanroc, so it's really nice with all these Pokemon getting uh, getting these abilities, uh, like Slush Rush on, uh, on Beartick is really, really cool. Uh, the, the, the new weather abusers with Torkoal and, uh, and Pelipper and whatnot, uh, Vanillux, so it's, it's, uh, it's nice, it's, it's cool to see. Uh, so we got a mini ore on the opposing side as well as I think that's an Oracorio. I'm not sure. Uh, it is an Oracorio. Oh, yo, my my showdown fixed itself. No way. Maybe it's just because I'm on this one, but everything's fine. I can see all the uh, the HPs and everything. Uh, no stupid thing. <laughs> okay. I don't know what uh, what stupid thing he's talking about, but um, I'm gonna lead off here with Hippo because Tangrowth switches into um, to Primarina really well, so I don't really care about that thing. He's gonna lead off with the rock flying type known as Minior, and we will go for Toxic as he sets up his stealth rocks. We are able to land, that's very nice. He's gonna start losing some of his health, and his shields go down, I think. Yep, shields down. And this thing is really strong, I think, but uh, I'm just gonna go for stealth rocks as he goes for a return. Uh, does 12%, never mind, he's not strong at all. And uh, he's rock and flying uh, still, so I can't hit him with EQ. We'll just go for the slack off, we'll see what he wants to do. Uh, we, got a, we got some nice defense right here. He gets a crit, not a big deal. Go for a slack off, able to, to heal all of that off. He is weak to, uh, it's basically Aerodactyl's typing. He's, he is weak to Lycanroc. I could switch that in right now, but I don't really want to do that. I think I'd much rather just go for a Toxic in case he wants to switch out. He does choose to stay in. I guess he's just letting this thing go down. And uh, he goes back into his regular form, so that's uh, okay. Uh, I don't understand how this works, but he's going to go for Explosion. We're just going to go for the slack off right here. It's a pretty powerful Explosion, but... Uh, Sand is up for three more turns. Cartana comes in. Grass type. Not something I really want to deal with. Tangrowth takes this on pretty well. It's got HP fire for it, so we will just go into that. And uh, we do see the Leaf Blade come out there. That's only going to do 25%, which is very nice. I think he's banded uh, from that damage. We'll go for knockoff as he goes for another Leaf Blade, which is fine. Uh, we're able to take that, and we are able to get rid of that Choice Scarf, actually. Uh, but now he's going to be able to hit us with a Steel move, so I don't really want to stay in here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch out into Tapu Fini. And uh, then we'll come back into this, or Swellow actually might be a better play. I really think he's going for the steel move right here, so we're going to go on into Tapu Fini. Uh, it's neutral, but uh, we should be able to take it decently well. We are physically defensive. He actually goes for the Swords Dance. Wow. Uh, risking the HP Fire. Very uh, very solid play, I guess. Um, the same thing hits 348 speed. Unfortunately, Mega Manectric doesn't outspeed it before the Mega Evolution, and we don't even have a... a, a yeah, we do have Flamethrower. What am I talking about? We got it. We got it on deck. Um, Leaf Blade is going to destroy us, uh, but I'm just going to go for a Skull, try to burn him, as uh, he does get the Leaf Blade off, he's able to crit it as well, does his attack go up, yes it does, um, Swallow outspeeds this though and can go for a Heat Wave, so we should be okay, we, are, we were able to get rid of the Choice Scarf, so I'm just going to go out into Swallow, and we're going to go for a Heat Wave, he should see this coming in theory, but uh, getting this thing out of here now is the best thing I can do, because it's way too strong, it's got <laughs> plus 3 attack, it's gonna go out into Primarina, that's absolutely fine. Like I said before, we have Assault Vest Tangrowth, which should be able to take a hit from this. Uh, so I'm just gonna switch into it. 
Uh, not sure exactly how well I'm going to take it because Primarina is extremely strong, but uh, it's getting closer and closer to Boom Burst actually sweeping, so we'll see. Uh, he goes to the Ice Beam, very solid play. Didn't think he would be packing that, but he is. Uh, but now I can go out into Manectric. He doesn't have any ground types, so I can freely fire off a Volt Switch right here. And uh, nothing really wants to come in on this, except maybe Kartana, but even Kartana has really bad special defense as we covered in the last episode. Latios is the only thing that I can effectively see coming in here. But um, yeah, we're going to go for the uh, for the Volt Switch right here. It's going to do a massive amount. not going to be able to take him out, but I'm going to go into Hippo right now on uh, whatever move he wants to go for. We're going to get our Sand up. He's going to go for Ice Beam. He's actually going to be able to take us out. I'm assuming he was Specs then. Um, and we're going to go into Lycanroc now which will take 12% from the rocks, but we should be able to knock out almost any Pokemon. Uh, maybe even Latios, actually, because of Crunch. Yeah, let's go for Crunch. And we're able to take it out. Awesome. So there goes that. We have Fire Fang as well for Cortana. That's really good. And we have Sand Up for a few more turns. I don't know what typing Oricorio is, but it's not going to take a rock move too well. We might be able to sweep up with, uh, with Lycan Rock right here. Beedrill does come in. This thing is not faster than me. Um, Stone Edge is less accurate than Fire Fang, so I am just going to go for Fire Fang. It should be able to knock him out, as it is. Awesome, so Beedrill goes straight down. And uh, Kartana is going to come in. We're going to go for another Fire Fang. As long as we connect, we should be good. As we do, we're able to knock it out. And last is Oricorio, Fire and Flying. This is an easy Stone Edge. This is quite effective. This is basically uh, Talonflame's typing. And uh, if we connect, we will be able to take him out, which we do. And that is going to be GG, so... Good game to my opponent. I really like this team. It's, it's really cool. Uh, let my opponent get up a few too many boosts, but uh, he risked the HP fire. That was a little bit... Uh, I mean, you should know that Tangrowth normally packs that if it's AV. I guess he couldn't know if I was AV or not, but I wasn't Rocky Helmet, so... I don't know. Maybe people are running wax sets on Tangrowth now. Um, gotta block that the next time I, I get around to it. But yeah, so uh, how many people are actually playing right now? Uh, that's not where you check. You have to go to, uh, you have to go to watch a battle. Um, let's see, Gen 7 OU. Eight battles going on right now, so not too many, unfortunately. Uh, but we do have a pretty scary looking team. We have the Landorus Eye right there, which, I mean, Tangrowth checks decently well outside of Sludge Wave. Uh, Lopini is looking like a little bit of a threat. We do have the Hippo, of course, uh, to check that decently. Uh, Tapu Finia as well does a good job at it. So, I think I'm just going to lead off here with... Um, with him pout on again, honestly, it's uh, probably my best lead against his Landorus. Not too bad. Not not the worst situation. Not the best. We're gonna go for Stealth Rocks. He's probably just gonna Earth Power turn one. Um, I'm not gonna make the switch into Swallow or anything like that. I will go into Tangrowth on the following turn because I don't expect him to go for a Sludge Wave first. Um, I expect him to want to take out my hip out on as early as possible. But Rocks will be going up, and he does not have a Defogger from what I can see, as he gets up his own Rocks actually. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go into Tangrowth hard now, because I do not want to take an Earth Power from this thing. It's still going to do a lot to Tangrowth. It's going to do a, good, a clean 25%, but uh, we should be okay. As he actually goes for Sludge Wave, predicting the Tangrowth. Wow. Alright, it's a good play. Uh, nothing, nothing I can say about that. We'll go for a Giga Drain, and as he goes for another Sludge Wave, so very nice on my opponent's part. Uh, we are faster with Manectric, and I can just go for an HP Ice. And the only thing that really wants to take it on his team is probably Celesteela, which doesn't want to take a Thunderbolt after. So I think, uh, I think Manectric is definitely the play, and we'll just go for HP Ice right here. And I need to make sure that I keep this thing around for the Celesteela, or else it's going to be an issue. As we are able to get off the HP Ice, Landorus is going to go clean down to that. And I'm expecting Lopini to come in here, but we did keep Hippo healthy. I'm glad we let Tangrowth go down and not hip out on. Honestly, that was just, that was a, a better play overall, I think. And, uh, yeah, Manectric looks like it puts in a lot of work. I really wish we had some ha sort of hazard removal, but uh, we should be able to work without it. Uh, Manectric's just going to be taking 12% every time it comes in. A little bit more with sand, of course. But it's looking okay. It's looking all right. Um, Lopini does choose to come out. I'm going hard into Hippowdon here. Not even thinking about it. N do not want to take a fake out with this. If he gets this weekend, then I'm in a bad situation. He's going to Mega Evolve. Go for the fake out. That's going to do absolutely nothing. And we are going to go for the slack off right here. Uh, if he wants the high jump kick, that's fine. I'm expecting Celesteela to come out here. Uh, realistically, that's probably his best switch as he does do that. Yep. And uh, I cannot toxic this, of course, because I am not a, sal a salazzle. 
But uh, we'll go into... I think Tapu Fini is fine. Tapu Fini is fine. And we can just start firing off some Scalds. Uh, Misty Surge, so the water. And there's the Leech Seed that I expected. We can go for... Oh, we do have a Defogger. What am I talking about? Okay. Alright, that's good to know. Uh, we'll go for a Scald right here. See if we can get a burn. That'd be cool. We do not. He goes for the Heavy Slam. It's going to do 25%, which is still a very decent amount for him. And uh, we're just going to go for another Scald right here. Like I said before, Manectric just destroys him. Uh, it fires off Thunderbolts every time, it, uh, every time it comes in. I don't expect him to think that I'm actually going to stay in here. Like, there's a couple of good switches that I can make, so he might just Leech Seed again, seeing as he's getting a lot of his health back. I can let Tapu Fini go down because Hippo's healthy for Lopini, so I'm not too worried about it. He does just go for another Heavy Slam. Uh, and we are faster, though. That's a good thing. Uh, and I can just fire off another Scald here. And if we do burn, then we'll be in a good situation because he won't get my uh, my health from the Leech Seed. That's looking very good. Let's see if we can burn. Nope, we do not. But he won't gain back as much health. His defense does go up. That doesn't matter at all. Manectric is going to come in here. Uh, I can just go for a Thunderbolt for free. Nothing switches in. Toxapex is going to take a lot <laughs> from this. So we should be fine. Uh, as long as we're able to get rid of this thing, I think. Uh, either Swellow. Lycanroc looks like it, it can sweep up too. But I need to get rid of the Lopany. That thing has to go down. I don't expect him to stay in here because if he lets this de go down, then Hippo puts in a lot of work against him. Uh, it's got super effective damage on both the uh, Toxapex and the Arcanine. And uh, yeah, there's the Arcanine. That's what I expected to come in. As we are able to get off a of T-Bolt, that did a lot. I don't see this thing being defensive at all. So we are going to switch out here into Hippodon on a most probable E-Speed that I do not want to take right now. There we go, there it is, and he's going to take Life Orb damage, and there is the sand coming in, so. Um, if he goes into uh, Celestila, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, because this thing is the big problem on his team, is, is the Skarmory, basically. Toxapex is actually going to come in, which is, I think, slower than us. Does it really want to take an Earthquake right now? Because I don't mind, I'll, I'll go for it. Okay, he doubles into Celestila, so he just let his... Toxapex take damage for no reason, I guess. It does have Regenerator, but I don't understand why you wouldn't just go hard into Celesteela to begin with. Um, I can switch in my Swallow here because he's probably not going to go for Heavy Slam. He will just probably Leech Seed, as there it is. And these things typically carry Protect, if I remember correctly. But I don't think I can risk it. I think I just have to go for a Heat Wave. As he lets me hit his Celesteela really hard, which is nice. Uh, he's going to be able to take out Swallow right here, but he's not going to be high enough to come back in on rocks. So I can actually just go into Manectric and freely click uh, Volt Switch right here. Uh, or even just Thunderbolt. I think Thunderbolt is the better play because I can always bring in um, Hippowdon on the Lopany. And I'd rather be in against the Toxapex and the, uh, the Tornadus than have to switch out against them. Looking okay. Uh, again, Lopany is the big threat. L Lopany is the big thing here. Let's see how much we can weaken it. Comes in on rocks, takes sand. That's pretty much what I need to happen. Um, and Tornadus actually comes in. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm just going for a Volt Switch on you. Um, if he wants to switch out into anything, that's absolutely fine. Like, nothing really wants to take this on his team. Uh, he's actually Scarfed and goes for the Heat Wave and gets the burn. That's bad. Uh, we're able to knock out the Tornadus, though. We can save this as fodder. Uh, what I'm going to do is go into Lycanroc first to bait in the Lopany, and then we're going to uh, sack off Manectric, go into Hippowdon, uh, I think click Slack off, and then start Earthquaking. Um, I don't know how much Toxapex is actually going to take from an Earthquake. It is Stab, it is super effective, but it's very, very bulky. He actually goes into Toxapex first, which is curious. Um, I am just gonna go for the Stone Edge on this to weaken it. It does 65%, which is very nice. He goes for the Toxic Spikes. I don't think he expected it to do that much. Uh, but we're just gonna go for, uh, another one right here, actually. Um, hold on. Wait a minute. Don't I need this as a win con against Lopany? Uh, if I miss right now. I think going for Crunch is a better play. He's going to go for Baneful Bunker, okay, so that's going to poison me, that's fine. I don't mind that at all, I was planning on getting poisoned anyway. And we will just go for 
a stone edge here, expecting him to switch out into Lopany. Because basically, yeah, I just need to keep this alive in the back so that I can stone edge his Lopany later. And it's going to do a lot, like, it's going to do a lot more than uh, Firefang would do. So what we're going to do is sack off Manectric here to whatever attack he wants to go for. It's probably going to be a return, uh, as it's going to be a fake out, actually. And we can go to Hippo now. And uh, I think I have to... Yeah, what I have to do is slack off on his return. Where's high jump kick? Um, we have a lot of defense, right? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see something. How much does Lopany actually take from this? Uh, Lopany... Why are the Megas not here? That's what I want to know. Mega... Nope, they're not They're not here at all. Lopany... Uh, I don't know how much the HP this thing goes to. Team Builder... Uh, where's Lopany? Mega Lop has 65 and 94. So let's do that. 65, this goes up by 10, so it goes to 94. Against Hippowdon. Uh, Hippowdon common showdown, so no, almost no attack investment. 100. Earthquake does 34 to 40. So after sand... Uh, after two rounds of sand, actually. Let's go for a slack off first. He's gonna go for a drain punch. Okay, that's not good. He has the drain punch. Uh, I mean, it's normal poison. He didn't get up two layers, so we're okay. I'm gonna go for a toxic right here. I expect him to return, but even return doesn't do that much. He has to crit me to beat me. Yeah, we're gonna get off a toxic right here, and this Lopany is gonna start getting worn down very, very fast, because uh, that is toxic poison comparatively to ours. As you can see, PSN versus TOX. PlayStation Network versus uh, whatever that is. Uh, we're going to get back up to a good amount of health, uh, but I don't know if we can take another high jump kick. It did 44%. Ooh, that's not good. Um, I don't know if that was a high roll. Give me high jump kick. High jump kick. And what's your attack stat, you? Lopany. Like, I don't know these things by heart. 136. Uh, 136. High jump kick does... What the? Why is it doing so much? Oh, he's, yeah, right, the, the stab boost. Fighting. Uh, 33 to 40. Is he adamant? Uh, then I guess he got a high roll. That must be it, right? He did 44.3, though. That doesn't make any sense. Do we not have this much investment? No, we don't. Hold on a second. Back this up. Put this at, like, 140. Uh, a little bit less. 120? 116? 112? 112. That's what it is. Uh, and he's not adamant. He is jolly. Was that a high roll? It was indeed a high roll. So I am just going to go for the slack off as he misses high jump kick. That sucks. Wow. And we're able to win the game that way. Uh, he was banking on the roll, but uh, he ended up missing. <laughs> that's that's really unfortunate for my opponent. But uh, let's get another one. We're at 18 minutes. We can afford to get one more. He's got, what is this? Uh, ooh, Alolan Golem. This is going to be interesting to play against. It's these kinds of matches that I wish I had Doug Trio. <laughs> like, look at this. Salazzle dies. This thing takes a ton. Uh, the Golem is, of course, still part rock, I believe. I'm not sure. Could be ground electric. Anyway, I like, um, again, I like Hippo as a lead. Yeah, I'm just going to lead off with Hippo. Like, what do I lose? Uh, he leads off with Metacham. That's absolutely fine. We are just going to go for a... Um, actually, I think I'm going to go out into Tapu Fini. Yeah, I'm going to go out into Tapu Fini because we're able to take the uh, the fake out. And we threaten him with Moonblast. So he's going to do a, a decent amount of damage with that. But unless he has Zen Headbutt, he can hit me for super effective. So I could just go for a... I'm going to go for Scald. He's going to go for Thunder Punch. Okay, so he can hit me for super effective damage. Uh, it's a little unfortunate that I didn't go for Moonblast right there, but it's okay. He's losing health very, very fast. Uh, we're going to go out into Hippo. We're going to keep Tapu Fini around as he's going to go for a Thunder Punch again. Awesome. And now we're going to go for the Slack Off on whatever move he wants to go for. We're going to follow that up with Stealth Rocks, and then we'll let something go down, whether it be Hippo or Tapu Fini, and he's going to, uh, to go down after that. So... Uh, his high jump kick actually did a little bit too much for comfort. Uh, like, a lot too much. <laughs> Hold on a second. That did 77%. Jeez. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah, we gotta, I think we gotta switch out here. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta sack off Tapu Fini. It's not too useful, this game. It's not too bad. Gonna let that go down. As he is going to go down to 7%. 
And now what we can do is just go into... I gotta look up uh, Golem to see if it's ground. Where's Golem? Uh, should be up here. Golem Golem is rock electric. Okay, yeah, so we, we definitely can go into Manectric, except he resists it. Uh, so does Como. Delamese is part grass. So... What do I do? Do I just go into Swallow and U-Turn? Yeah, Swallow and U-Turn seems like the, the most viable option. Because if he wants to keep his Metacham around, he's going to give me Switch Initiative. So this is good. I think we might be able to pull out another win. Uh, it's looking that way. As long as we don't let Como get up a Dragon Dance. And as long as we keep, keep Hippo healthy. He's going to go into Golem. We don't get to see its Sprite. But we are able to uh, deal neutral damage to it. Uh, and being Rock Electric, it's very weak to, to Hippo. It's actually quad weak. Uh, and I can just get up my rocks here uh, very easily. Just going to go for Stealth Rocks. That's going to hinder the everything, actually. I think Metacham might e even go down after Stealth Rocks plus Sand. We'll see, though. He does choose to go into Delmiz, okay. Uh, is this thing a Rapid Spinner? I'm pretty sure it is. Hold on a second. If I, I played Dom the other day, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw... Uh, Del... How do you spell this? Uh, okay, it's DH. Gotcha. Delmi's, um, what are you? Do you get Rapid Spin? You don't get Rapid Spin, okay, then I was wrong. Alright, that's fine. Uh, Ghost and Grass, don't really want to stay in on this. Uh, at the same time, I don't get, I have a great, what am I talking about? I have a Swallow. <laughs> I have the best switching. Uh, he goes for Anchor Shot. What the heck is that? What actually is that? What? Why did that do so much? Anchor Shot. What is this? 80, physical, prevents target from switching out. Okay, that's fine. Um, um, I'm just going to go for Air Slash. That's super effective. We have a chance to flinch. We do not flinch. Okay, so he does get Rapid Spin. Why are you telling me he doesn't? What the heck? Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to go into main, and we are just going to go for a Flamethrower right here. Uh, and then I'll Volt Switch out on whatever comes in. It doesn't matter. Como does not appreciate an HP Ice, of course. Uh, Golem's going to come in. It's going to be able to resist this right here. Uh, it does. It still does 22%, so I'm curious to see how much a Volt Switch is going to do. It does 26. Yeah, this thing has no spit F. Going to go back into Hippo here, as he's going to go for a Stealth Rocks. A Stealth Rocks. <laughs> the Stealth Rocks. I'm going to get up my own again. He might go into Metacham, but it's fine. Everything is really low now, which is good, except for these three up here. But I should be able to deal with those. Uh, Golem can probably go for, like, uh, an explosion or something. If we're gonna go back out into Metacham, he's gonna take Sand. Uh, so he's gonna be at 1%. And I doubt he would go for anything other than High Jump Kick right here. Uh, so I'm gonna play off the potential miss <laughs> and just go for the Slack Off. Uh, he is able to knock out Hippowdon right there. Uh, but now, but now... Um, Como resists all of Lycanroc's moves. So I have to go Manectric. It's my only play. As, let's see what he does. He chooses to go out into Como. Yep, it's the best Pokemon to go out into. Um, is it in here? Como. Yep. Random meta guesses. Okay, max attack. Max special attack. Really? <laughs> really? Manectric Mega uh, has like base 135 here, I think, or 130. Uh, yeah, it's 130, I think. Uh, hits 369. What the? Oh, whoops. 130. Uh, at level 100. 100 359 is that what we are we're 369 so it's 135 then yeah it's 135 um hp ice does 162 to 198 wow to a level 50 all right <laughs> let's uh bring that back down okay he's got uh, he takes uh 44 to 52 so it's definitely not enough i have to go for a volt switch first as he chooses to go out into toxapex which is perfect uh we are able to get a huge hit off on that thing and we will just go straight out into Lycanroc here. And I think just go for a Stone Edge. And it hits everything on my opponent's team. So that's great. He's going to go for Baneful Bunker. Uh, that doesn't make contact though. So he's not going to get the poison. Which is nice. And now something has to take a Stone Edge. So that's looking pretty good. He's going to let his Toxapex go down. Which is awesome. Uh, nothing really wants to come in here except for Como. But if Como takes a hit, it puts itself in range of HP Ice. Which is very nice. Also, we could have coverage for it, I think. I think Lycanroc can. He goes into uh, Golem, actually. Uh, Golem does not appreciate a Stone Edge either. If we could hit, that would be cool. Uh, he's going to go for Explosion. That's going to knock us out, of course. 
And now what I'm going to do is go out into uh, Manectric again, because Manectric threatens everything, so... Um, Salazzle should be able to live a hit, however, as he's going to go out into Delmise, alright? So we're just going to get off a Flamethrower right here. We're not going to allow him to Rapid Spin. And the Sand is now gone, which actually ends up helping us because Manectric's not taking any extra damage. Kind of. It kind of helps us. Uh, it's going to help for uh, for Tangrowth for sure. I think he's just going to go for a Sludge Wave right here. So I have to Volt Switch. I have to let... Um... Oh, we actually get a crit. Wow. Yo, that definitely mattered. That definitely mattered. And I don't know what this thing's going to do, but I'm just going to go for the knockoff here as he goes for Dragon Dance. Yeah, I figured as much as we're able to get rid of his item, which is Leftovers. And now we're going to go for Earthquake, which is not going to end up doing anything at all. Uh, it's going to do 23%. I don't know how long it's going to take him to actually knock me out. But he goes for Sky Uppercut. That is a fighting move. Uh, he is able to do a lot of damage to us. 56 to be precise. So I'm actually going to switch out into Manectric. Uh, we do get the Intimidate off, of course, which helps us live the next one, as he goes for Dragon Claw, which is a good play. Uh, however, Tangrowth can live this now, and I can potentially crit him, uh, which I think would knock him out. Maybe, maybe not. He's going to go for the Sky Uppercut again, and we are going to get off this Earthquake. We're not going to crit, and that is going to be GG, so well, very well played to my opponent. Uh, I thought Delmiz had uh, Rapid Spin, I was pretty sure, uh, but I wasn't 100% sure. A Ghost Spinner, man. That's, that's just really good. That's really solid. I like that. It's a spin blocker and a spinner. I've, I've waited for that for a while, actually. Uh, now we finally have it, so. That's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you're looking forward to uh, future lives on the channel and any of the other content that I put out on a daily basis. Check me out on Twitter and on Facebook down below in the description. And that's it. I'll catch you later. Ciao.